What is going on guys, Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new customizable actions in the Elder Scrolls Online that are available right now in the Firesong uh, public test server. So if you play on PC, you can test these out. We have not got a lot of details from Zenimax exactly how are these going to work, you know, if they're going to be something you can get in game or if it's something you have to purchase from the Crown Store. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be something that is a, a kind of a purchase thing. It's kind of considered a, a cosmetic collectible, but Right now, we're not exactly sure until Zoss gives us more information, but these are available right now to test out in the public test server. So if you're like me here on console, I'm just kind of gathering the information from all the you know images and things we've seen of, of players talking about them. But these customizable actions will kind of take place or, or you know, take the place of other actions in game. So for example, there's one called the recall of the Galen winds. So whenever you recall to a location, whether it be to a way shrine or just a location in the game that you can recall to, it will change that, you know, normal uh, recall animation. Some of the other ones that are being shown off right now or talked about within the public test server are some of the, you know, actions you use when you're collecting different nodes. So there is the stone lore split, which is an action that replaces your wood cutting animation. From everything I've seen, the action looks pretty much the same if you were, you know, chopping a piece of wood in the game for your node. But you'll actually see this green trail kind of behind your axe as you're chopping. Almost has like these little images of leaves and things behind it. It's kind of a unique, neat thing. Probably the two coolest ones that are in the public test server right now is the Falcon Gatherer, which actually will send a bird to harvest the plant for you. And that bird will pick up that plant and then pass it to your character. And then there is also the Druid Stone Mine which replaces your normal pickaxes you use for mining metal nodes and replaces it with a stone hammer. So it's not, it's going to even look visually different, you know, what you're holding. And that also that stone hammer will have a different sound than the normal mining tool. So it's actually going to match that stone hammer. We're not sure if there's going to be more of these available in different weeks of the public test server. If there's going to be more of these available once, you know, update 36 launches with the new DLC. No word, like I said, from Zoss just yet about exactly how these are going to work and how you get them in game. But this is something I think that a lot of people in the community will like. I think it's something that is unique to the, you know, kind of the way all of your animations work in game. That way you can kind of change some of these animations up. I think it'll be a cool thing to have, you know, different ways to recall, you know, different animations to see when you're mining different nodes. And hopefully we'll get some more information from Zoss about this soon. And I'm hoping these aren't only going to be you know, something that you have to purchase. I'm, I'm hoping down the road, Zoss continues to add all of this cool customization stuff for your character to make it fit kind of your play style and, you, you know, be more unique to you, to you in general. But as of right now, I, I would guess that this is going to be something that you have to buy. And I'm hoping that is not always going to be the case. Zoss comes up with some really cool things they add into the game that, you know, can be bought from the crown store. But a lot of people do feel left out because they don't maybe not have the money or don't want to spend all that money, you know, on ESO Plus and then things from the Crown Store as well. So hopefully down the road, Zoss will start adding things like this into the antiquity system. I think that would be a really great idea. Some of the unique things we can get to customize your character or customize other things in game, I think could be added into that antiquity system. But overall, I really like the idea of having the option to have kind of some of these normal actions we've seen in game for years and years now to be able to be customized to you know fit like i said more of your play style or a different look leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace